Chairman, and uh, the, the Chair, Congressman Waltz, hit on this a little bit with regard to uh, solar panels, battery technology, and uh, I, I will tell you that, uh, Secretary Owens, I do think that the DOD should make it very clear that the DOD, the United States Department of Defense, is not going to purchase any vehicle that utilizes CATL or any other Chinese battery technology. I refuse to believe that with all of the great companies in this country and with all of the great minds at uh, Georgia Tech, MIT, and everywhere else in this country, that we in this country cannot develop better, better technology than the Chinese have. And if it takes us 12, 18, 24 months to do it, then that's better than sending people who don't share our interests or our values uh, U.S. tax dollars. To, and so I think that uh, corporate America is going to have to understand that if they're going to partner with China, then they're not going to sell their vehicles to the Department of Defense. Uh, that said, uh, I realize part of that manufacturing is not going to come back to the U.S., it doesn't all have to come back to the U.S. It's just we shouldn't be buying it from people who don't share our interests or our values. Um, Secretary Oshiba, can you briefly explain what materials the Air Force considered for its facility to be built under the pilot program on the increased use of sustainable buildings? Um, Congressman Scott, I, I apologize. I may have to take that one for the record as far as the details go. My, my understanding um, is that you only considered concrete. Is that correct? For the for the for the pilot project that we are undertaking at I think it's at Patrick Air Force Base, um, that was the one material that we are that we that we focused on for that one project. Yes. And and so the the whole purpose of the project is uh, innovative concepts, new materials. Uh, why didn't you consider cross laminated timber? Sir, I, I I would have to take that one for the record. I'm not sure exactly why we didn't look at a at a, at a broader range of of, um, of materials. Um, I, I I do know the focus was specifically on concrete, and then we also looked at um, what other kinds of resilient design techniques that we could we could incorporate as part of the design um, for that specific area. There's also been language that's specific to uh, not telling you that you have to use it, but that you have to consider cross laminated timber and the use of cross laminated timber. Uh, it's certainly a much more renewable resource than concrete is. I mean, when you take concrete down, you create a pile of rubble that nothing can be, nothing can be done with. And so um, I, I just want to make sure that cross-laminated timber is part of the uh, discussion as, w as we look to. So we can certainly take a, take a look at that specifically, okay. and if it's not there, then I, I don't see why we couldn't yeah. consider it. I, 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 would, I would appreciate that. And then uh, Secretary Jacobson, uh, the Army somewhat did the same thing. Um, in it, but in your testimony, you say, while lower emission building materials are in development, these materials are not currently at the appropriate technology readiness level for direct implementation in the project. But other countries... And, and the private sector is using cross-laminated timber now. Can you explain uh, those comments further? Uh, Congressman Scott, um, thank you for the question. And I want to start by saying that we have two uh, projects underway, a joint base, Lewis McCord, using sustainable material. They're both barracks projects. The first one, as you mentioned, is using uh, a sustainable low-carbon concrete. But the second one is going to use cross-laminated timber. Uh, really, it was just a planning issue with the Army Corps of Engineers, and uh, they were certain way along in the planning for that first barracks, and to change the material so substantially would have affected the timing of the construction and so forth. But the second barracks project for fiscal year 25 will be made of cross-laminated timber. We are committed to that. Well, as somebody from the private sector... I think that you will find that the more options you have with the way you construct buildings, yeah. not only are you going to get a better building, but you're going to get it at a better cost. And so uh, I, I would hope that you would consider cross-laminated timber uh, where, where it can be used. I realize there's some situations where it's probably not appropriate, but where it is appropriate, uh, I hope that you'll consider it. And, and again, Secretary Owens, I know you're new to the job, but I will tell you, um, we're not 
going to spend DOD dollars on Chinese technology for batteries. And if it slows us down 12, 18, 24 months. The gentleman's time has expired. Price. Thank you, Mr. Scott.